Hi guys, it's Anastasia Hodge, Coach Ace here, and today I'm going to teach you how to take a blog post and convert it into a PDF so that it's shareable on SlideShare. So come with me, we're going to go and do that today. Now the first thing you have to understand is before you can actually get to this point, you got to have the actual app. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Google, and you want to go into the App Store, and once you get into the App Store, you're going to type up this name, Print Friendly, and you're going to hit Enter. And this is an actual generator that actually converts web pages into PDFs. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on Print Friendly, and see, mine is already added to Chrome, so I don't have to upload it, but for you, it's going to say, um, you know, add to Chrome. And that's what you're going to do. You click on the button, and it add it to Chrome, and it'll be right here as a little shortcut icon extension. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to my blog post I have already open here, and this one is not uploaded to SlideShare. We're going to do that today. So here is my blog post. Now, the old way of actually trying to convert a blog post into a PDF you pretty much waste a lot of time. You know, um, you would just right click on it and say print and then you would change your destination to make it a PDF. And that is fine and all, but look how look how like scrunched up it is. Like it doesn't look good. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to do that. So here's here's what I would do. Okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to one of my blog posts, we'll go to aceandrich.com, and then after it loads, we're gonna find the blog post that we want to select and convert into a PDF using print friendly. So I'm going to go to blog. Oops. <laughs> Too quick on me. Okay. So this is the blog post that I want to convert into a PDF, right? So I'm going to take this blog post and I'm going to go ahead and click on my print friendly extension icon. There it is. All right. How cool is this? Now, there's a couple of things I can do before I turn it into a PDF, right? And normally, I don't do this, but for this demonstration, I'm going to show you each of these features so that when you use this, you don't have that many questions because it's pretty straightforward. So print is obviously print straight to your printer. PDF will actually download it into a PDF document, so it's shareable on uh, SlideShare. And then email, which is really neat, is you just directly email the person you want to send the document to. And what it will do is it will send, it to send them an email that will drive them to your blog, your original blog post, okay? And that's what it will do there. So for this example here, we're just going to go ahead and leave the font the way it is. But for some people who wear glasses and uh, sometimes they need to see font a little bit bigger, you can always increase the size just like that. Bam. You can make it bigger. Um, you can also reduce it, make it tinier. I prefer 100%. It's readable for me. And uh, if I don't want the images to show up in my uh, content, I can just go to remove images and all I see is just the text. That's all I see. But I want to keep the images there because it's colorful and it's very attractive. And I'm going to go ahead and click on PDF. Give it a few seconds and download into PDF. There it is. Okay. And we're going to view it, make sure that it looks good. Go to open. Bam. Look at that. That is awesome. Now that is a shareable PDF. I like this a lot. So here's what I'm going to do. I got one more step. I'm going to go to SlideShare. Okay. And in SlideShare, I'm going to share it as a PDF. Watch this. I can actually do this for every single blog post, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, upload and I'm going to go get my, retrieve my document right here. And my mouse is out. There it is. Okay. Okay, your file is published. Okay. Now we're going to click on that little gray X and we're going to click on our profile. Go to my uploads. Let's go see what it looks like. All right, but we can't leave it like this because what's going to happen is it just has the actual long description and link and everything. we got to edit this thing. So we're going to go to settings, click on edit, go to settings. And now you're actually looking over my shoulder, seeing how I do my work, okay? I'm actually going to go right into the actual post. Let me go here and close this, close that. 
all that's gonna do is just close out the window and it'll take you back to your blog post. So you didn't move you didn't go anywhere, you didn't lose your page. Alright. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy the title. This is what I do, guys. My description. Um, right here. Boom, boom, boom. Grab that. And my keyword. Okay. Choose category. Now, depending on the content, it goes match well, congruent with your copy and uh, your category. So, um, mine is about music and art. So, I'm going to say art and photos. And then what I'm going to do is leave that alone, leave that alone, leave all this alone. Don't mess with any of that stuff and update. Give it a few minutes. There it is right there. Okay. So, let's take a look at it. Okay. Great. It's there. Look at that. See? Now, when somebody looks at this, they're gonna, they are gonna can see it both ways. They can share it. You can download it. I mean, that's what's really fun about using SlideShare is you can actually get leads from this just like that. So that's one of our secrets that I just gave you guys. A little golden nugget there for you. All right? Now, so now that you've done that and you know how to do it, you guys go ahead and practice, okay? Don't forget to click the link below this video so that you can learn more about what it takes to run an online business successfully online and the internet marketing skills that you lack that you need to know because let me tell you if you don't have the right skills you can't make it in this industry period okay so click the link below this video it'll take you to the next page and a little opt-in form is going to pop up and you enter in your best email address and that's going to show you a few videos it's actually a boot camp that's going to teach you about what is actually going on right now in the industry and what it takes to make money online. I'm Anastasia Holders, Coach Ace, and it is my pleasure to say from both of us to you, thank you so much for stopping by this video. Have a great day. See you guys on the other side.